telling kids move because you're going to get disease has never worked in any country. You guys know people move, whether you're my age or younger, because they enjoy it. If you actually think about what a kid has to do in life, it's basically activities of daily living, a vocation that might be physical, recreational activities that aren't sport, sport, and performing arts that involve movement. Those are all the categories that we need to prepare children for so everybody sees themselves in movement. I work in the circus industry, so I'm uh, the scientific director at the Human Potential Research Center in Montreal, which is, I work at Cirque du Soleil. I came from a high performance sports background, and uh, then I joined the circus because I realized there's something very special about it, that the people that were in circus had an unbelievable social skill set, an unbelievable psychological skill set, an excellent complement of physical skills that created this holistic person. And so in the high performance world, I went, this is great, but how do we apply it to everybody? I'm all about quality physical education, quality health education, that's what I do for my living, and I'm here to help aspiring people in that field become quality educators. So the new curriculum is how do you prepare people to find their movement voice, develop their movement voice, express their movement voice, and be accepted for it? Physical education has been very sport-centric in the past, and we need to make it inclusive so that all people see themselves in movement. This is an after degree program, so these students are, most of them are kinesiology graduates, so they already have a degree, and there's a few that have other degrees in the, in the arts programs, for example, math or, uh, or music, and they're taking this as um, a minor, as another teachable, when they do get their teaching cert certificate. Well, let's just do it right here, okay? Come on up, and maybe just gra grab one of these, grab your favorite color. I want you to throw with your right, catch with your right. Circus Arts is one of our uh, newest additions to physical education curriculum. In Manitoba, it is the global leader in delivery of Circus Arts in physical education. Social inhibition means somebody called me out to move in front of a group. I didn't want to, but I felt coerced into it, and I felt that I didn't want to do it again. And as a result of that, they have to come to your class, but they've mentally checked out but they're physically present. Social inhibition never happens in quality phys ed. Physical educators, when using circus arts, are finding that they can reach all of the kids all of the time, and it meets the curricular standards, <laughs> as well as making it really fun and enjoyable for all kids of all abilities. You know, we could toss and catch on our foot with our right hand. This would be tough. Well, I think it would just get kids excited about being physically active. Uh, we know that in society today we're having issues with inactivity and, and illness. And so this would be a great way to, uh, to mitigate some of that. Keep it up. I think circus belongs in the phys ed curriculum. You know, I think performing arts are a little underrepresented. And I think it's just a really great thing to have kids exposed to different kind of arts and maybe broaden their spectrum on like physical activity. It doesn't have to just be, you know, the traditional sports of like basketball, volleyball. There's like really a lot of more other things out there. Keep walking, keep walking. Yeah, high, high. Low, 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 low. High, 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 high. Throw and catch, throw and catch.